Good morning, one and all. My name is Walter. I'm teaching about the eighth session. Right? Yesterday, we have learned various types of tool holders. That is, can we recall them? Single point tool holder, multiple tool holder, nabla tool holder. Right? So these are the types of tool holder we have discussed so far yesterday's class. And also we discussed some types of lathe tools production. In that we have started uh, with the lathe operations. Already we have learned this lathe operations in the previous session. Right. With the diagram and uh, based on the tool, we have observed this lathe operations in the yesterday's class. So this is for straight uh, turning operation. Which of the tool we are using? Is it completely uh, made by one material or uh, uh, edge of the material is made by one material? That will that that has been observed yesterday's class. Right. So for straight turning cutting turning operation. So it is made with a single material. Here for paper turning also, it is made with a single material. But uh, for profiling, observe here, the edge is uh, made with uh, another material. Right? Here also, if the tool is, what are the advantages of these uh, edge tools? If the tool is broken, we don't uh, uh, replace with another tool by the entire tool. Only we can, uh, the tool is broken, just we have changed this edge, just we have changed this edge only. So that is the advantage with the equal tools. Yes, sir? So this is one of the type of uh, edge tool it is used for turning and equal growing and for casing operation also. We have this uh, entire material is having same material here. Uh, it is there again okay. so come to here so for this operation since similar material entire body so like this we have observed in the studies class right and also we have discussed a uh, number of operations okay, in the study class that is that is turning for turning operation we have using only one single material only casing operation also but boring boring is operation uh, the tool material is uh, the body of the material is uh, different than the cutting edge. The cutting edge material is uh, another different, and the body is different. The drilling operation, the entire material is entire tool material is same. For the cutting of material, the body is uh, made with uh, made with some material, and the cutting edge is made with uh, some material. Threading. For threading also, uh, the body is here. Yeah, the body is made with uh, another material and the cutting is made with another material. Nulling, nulling also, we can clearly observe in the nulling operation. The nulls are made with uh, some type of material and the body which holds that nulls also uh, are made with uh, another type of material. So, up to this we have discussed in the yesterday's class and also uh, we have concluded that the uh, number of uh, types of tool holders, right? In that uh, multiple tool holders, single point tool holders, normal tool holders, right? Drilling tool holders. So, different types of tool holders we have discussed so far, and what holding levels also we have discussed so far, right? So, up to now we have discussed about the lathe machine and uh, uh, its parts and function. And the constructional details of lake emission and what are the operations we are go, we are performed on the lake emission and uh, what are the work holding devices while doing the lake emission operation and what are the taper turning methods and what are the tool holders these are discussed so far right and now we are moving to the lake tools the tools which are doing the operation we are going to discuss about them, right? So we have different 
sets of tools before going to discussing about the lathe tool geometry. First of all, we have to discuss about the types of tools, right? After that, we are going to discussing about the types of uh, lathe tool geometry. Now, we are moving to discussing about the types of tools, right? Types of lathe tools. In the diagram, we have observed different types of tools, right? Some of them are made with a single material and some of them are made with uh, two different materials. The body is made with another material and the cutting edge is made with uh, some material. So these are observed in our diagram. Right? So cutting tools used in a lathe operation is single point cutting tool. Right? So we have already learned this. Single point cutting tool means it is having single point cutting edge, right? With that cutting edge only, we are doing the operations, right? In a single in lathe machine, so generally we are using types of tools are single point cutting edge tools, right? Because single point cutting edge tool, because they are having only one cutting edge, right? That's why these are called single point cutting tools. That's why. Single point cutting tool. We are call it as single point cutting tool. So observe here, every tool is having only one cutting edge only. Means having only one cutting edge at the end. So, so this is the body of the cutting tools, and the, this portion is having cutting edge. It's, the body is made with two different materials. The tool is made with two different materials, but uh, at last uh, the cutting edge is only single point. That's why they are called as single point cutting tools. Just uh, the body is made, uh, the entire tool body is made with uh, two materials, right? The body is made with some material and the cutting edge is made with uh, some another material. But the cutting edge is having only single point. That's why it is called as a single point cutting edge tool. Right? So, because uh, it is different uh, with uh, multiple cutting edges. Right? We will see what are the multiple cutting edges tool in the next slide. Right? So, actually, lathe machine tools are deferred by two different cutting tools. One is single point cutting tool, that is example lathe tool, and the second one is multi point cutting tools, example drill bits. Okay? The single point cutting tool is lathe tool and multi point cutting tool drill bits. These drilling operations we have observed in our uh, first year workshop technology, but uh, in there we are not discussed about the cutting edges, just we have discussed about the Operation. What are the drilling operations? Drilling, boring, reaming, uh, reaming, etc. This type of internal tapping. This type of operations we have discussed in our drilling chapter. But we have not discussed about the cutting edges, right? Here in this uh, lathe machine, we have discussed about the uh, types of cutting edges, right? Uh, the tools which are having single point cutting edge, they are called as single point cutting tools. The tools which are having multiple cutting tools, multi point cutting tools, multi, multiple cutting edges, they are called as multi, -cut, multi point cutting tools. A single point cutting tool, we have uh, tell that that is example for lathe tool. In the operations, are we are in the operation itself, we have observed that uh, single point cutting edge, multi point cutting tools, the drilling operation is very, very. If we recall in from the first year, we are observed that it is having the drill bit is having multiple cutting edges. So they are called as multi-point cutting tools. Types of lathe tools, single point cutting tools, we are having different types of single point cutting tools. According to the direction of feed, we are having uh, different types of single point cutting tools, right? Those are right hand tools left hand tools, right? So, uh, by standing before the lathe machine, our right hand side is at the lathe the tail stock side and our left hand side is at the head 
stock center, right? So already we learned about the centers that uh, tail stock is at the right grid center, uh, right center, and uh, head stock is at the left hand side center, right? And uh, that the head stock side is called as a light center, and the tail stock side is called as a dead center. Already we have learned so far, right? Based on that, according to the direction of field, if we are giving the field from right to left, from tail stock to head stock, that uh, uh, in that for that operation we are using right hand tools. If we are uh, moving our cutting tool from left hand side to right hand side, that is head stock to tail stock side, that uh, tools are called left hand tools, right? The right hand tools are having the cutting edges on the left side. Why? Because the left side, because we are moving our cutting tool from left, right hand to left hand, right hand to left hand. So the operation is performed at the left hand side of the cutting edge, left hand side of the tool. So, so the operation is performed at the left hand side of the tool. That's why the cutting edge is formed at the left hand side. But for right hand tools, for right hand tools, the cutting edge is formed at the left hand. For left hand tools, for left hand tools, the cutting edge is formed on the right hand side because the, we are moving our cutting tool from right hand side to left hand side. Right? So the cutting edge is formed in the left hand, right hand side. So that's why the operation is performed from left to right. From right to left, uh, the cutting edge is at the left side. From left to right, the cutting edge is at the right side. So these are the single point cutting tools according to the direction of field. Right hand tools, left hand tools. Types of lathe tools, we have already discussed the right hand tool. Cutting cutting edge, the metal from like right to left. Here the cutting edge is cut uh, down the metal from right to left. Cutting it on the left side. The right hand tools, the cutting it is on the left hand side. Left side. Left hand tool. Cutting the metal, cutting, cutting the metal from right to left. You can easily tell that. Cutting, cutting the metal from right to left. The cutting it is on the right hand side. The cutting it is on the right hand side. Here, observe here. I already told this is the right hand side, it is the operator here, it is the right hand side and it is the left hand side, it is the head stock and it is tail stock, the right hand side, um, tail stock is there, it, uh, the left hand side, head stock is there, so the operation is performed with the uh, right hand tool, we are moving our uh, carriage or uh, our composers to left, right, to left. We are doing left hand, we are doing left hand tools, we are moving our carriage from left to right, right? So that's why for right hand tools, the cutting it is at the left side, for uh, left hand tools, the cutting it is at the right side. This is for right side, this is for, this is for left side, and this is for right side, right? And observe here, different types of tools are there. So this is to, this tool, this cutting edge is formed here only, here the cutting edge, this is, these are the tools for, uh, this is the tool uh, for left cut. So, for left cut means it is from left to right. So, it is the right cut from right to left. So, here the cutting edge is there. Here, cutting edge is there. So, this type of uh, cutting edge is used for roughing operation. If we are um, cutting with this uh, cutting edge, that uh, cutting edge is used for roughing operation, right? And the tool is having this type of face also. Right, inclination phase. If we are using this cutting edge while doing the operation, if we are using uh, this type of operation while doing the uh, moving, that is called the finishing, finishing operation. Right. We come to here. Here, the cutting edge is formed here. The cutting edge is formed here. We are engaging with this. Uh, so the, that operation is called side facing operation. Right. For both operations, left hand, right hand. Uh, it is called as a nose radius, right? So, observe here, side facing, so it 
in the human for side facing operation for right cut toes it is uh, it is for finishing and it is for rocking see these are indicates the cutting edges these are indicates the uh, these arrows indicates the cutting edges so for left hand tool the cutting edge is formed like this and based on the operation we are uh, using this type of uh, geometry and uh, for right hand tool so uh, we are having different types of cutting edges and based on the operation we are using different types of cutting edges right and the classification according to the purpose uh, we can classify according to the purpose also based on operations like facing parting etc right in the figure itself we have observed that for work horse operation we are using this cutting edges a and b so this indicates the cutting edges of the tool for finishing cuts we are using these cutting edges these cutting edge and for parting cuts here we are using this cutting edge and for parting cuts the material is made with some material and the cutting edge is made with another material and it is this type of tool is used for 60 degrees threading 60 degrees threading operation so before classification based on the uh, same classification according to the direction of field or into the direction of field. and this is for according to the purpose and based on the operation based on the operation uh, we are having different, different types of uh, tools right in the third method is classification according to the method of manufacturing based on the manufacturing also uh, we are using different types of lathe tools forged or solid tool tipped tool we have observed that the Uh, we have already discussed that the forged tool and the stripped tool. So this is the single point solid tool, and that means its entire body is made with the single material only. Solid material means based on the manufacturing, based on manufacturing operation, right? We have observed in the yesterday's class different types of operations for turning, grooming, drilling, pouring, different types of operations we have observed. These are all called the manufacturing operations. So based on that uh, operation, so based on that operation, we are using different types of tools, right? So here also one of the classification is according to the uh, manufacturing process. Uh, the process is based on that process. We are having different types of tools. One is solid tool, and the second one is the tipped tool. The solid tool is having uh, the body is made with uh, single material itself. The body, entire body is made with. Uh, Single material itself and the tipped tools, the tipped tools are made with uh, different types of tools, right? Uh, different types of materials. This entire body is made with another material, and observe here, it is the this is the material made with uh, this is the cutting edge, and this cutting edge is made with a different material. Observe here, this cutting edge is made with. The, Different material. That's why uh, this is called a solid tool, and this is one of the tip tool, right? So these are the lathe tools according to the types of lathe tools, right? Actually, we can again repeat it. Machine tools are single point tools, and uh, Lathe tools, for example, multi-point cutting tools, for example, drill bits. Classification of single-point cutting tools according to the direction of feed. According to the direction of feed, we are having a single point. Uh, that means, uh, according to the direction of feed, the right-handed tools and left-handed tools. If the tools having the right-hand cutting edge, uh, they are used for uh, left-handed tools. The tools having left-hand cutting edge, they are used for right-handed tools. Right. So this is according to the direction of feed, and the another type is according to the operation purpose. According to the purpose, that is for facing and parting operation. Based on operation like facing and parting operations, we are using different types of uh, tools, right? Now we are uh, another type of probability uh, tools. That is the classification according to the type of manufacturing. Four jewel solid tool, tipped tool. The body is made with a single point tool. That body is called a four jewel tool. If the body is made with two materials, so one uh, body is made with another material, and the cutting edge is made with another material. That type of tools are tipped tool. So these are the lathe tool types, right? These are the lathe tool types. Now we are going to discussing about the lathe tool joint. Lathe tool 
geometry, right? So according to the term used in lake pool geometry, we are having different types of uh, edges here that will be discussed now. So this is the lake pool geometry, right? So this is our tool, uh, different types of views, right? So the entire our uh, lake pool is here, different types of uh, views are here. And your top view and side view. So we are observing different types of uh, geometry on our cutting tool. Right? So of course from here, it is a shank, this is face, and here is known as end cutting edge angle. And here this angle is side cutting edge angle. Right? And this end this part is called nose. What is called nose. Come to here. Again, it is a shank. And this type, this part is called blank. This is a base. So our tool is fixed on the tool post with this part. With this part. So uh, we can tell that it is a front view. And this is a top view by top of the tool we can observe by top view we have observed these parts and this is a right hand side view. This is the right hand side view. Here it is a shank, plank, face, and a back rectangle, cutting edges, these both are cutting edges, and the heel, this part is called heel. The angle between these two parts is called end relief angle, end relief angle, right? And this is side rectangle, side relief angle, and it is also called as a key. So this diagram shows the views, different types of views of the tool, and by the views we have observed, we are observing different types of the Tool geometry, right? And this is the front view, and this is the top view, and this is the right hand side view. And this part, this base part, with this part, the tool is fixed on the tool holder. And these are the cutting edges and then the cutting edges and the blank nose. So a side right angle, side cutting edge angle, and the cutting edge angle, then relief angle K. So these are the terms we have to know clearly what is what, you know, what is base, what is flank, what is shank, what is base, what is side right angle, what is side relief angle. That's uh, that will be discussed now. First of all, we are discussing about the shank, this part. Shank is a solid part. Shank is a solid part. It is called as a Entire body of the tool. Shank is a solid body of the tool or part on one end of which the cutting edge is formed. Right? The figure itself we are observing where the shank is situated. The entire tool, the entire body, the half, more than half percentage is the shank in the shank part is there. So this is the body of the tool. So it is called as a body of the tool or Part one part on one end of which the cutting edge is formed. Face, next face. The face is the uh, side to the shank part. Face is the uh, adjacent side to the shank part. This is the top surface of the tool between the shank and the point of the tool. I, I have already told that this is the top view. Top view of the cutting tool. That's why face is called top surface of the tool. Right? Top surface of the tool between the shank and the point of the tool. This is the shank. This is the shank. Right? And the point of the tool. In between our face is the tool face is situated. Right? It is the top surface of the tool and it uh, is uh, in between the shank and the point of the tool. That's why it 
So now we have discussed about the fan, phase, point, base, and the plan. Five parts. Heel. Here is the heel. Portion at the bottom of the tool where the base and plan of the tool be. Portion at the bottom of the tool where the base and the plan of the tool meet. So it is the bottom of the tool. These are the bottom of the tool where the base and the plan of the tool be. This is the plan base and, the, uh, and another base is and this is the base here at the, the base point and the plan base point. So these points are made here. So this part is called heel. This part is called heel of the tool, right? Shank, face, point, plank, base, and heel. These are the parts of the tool. These are the parts of the tool. Now we are going to discuss about the different types of tool. cutting edges and the different types of cutting edge and cutting edge and Nose radius, nose radius. Curve formed by joining the side cutting edge and the end cutting edge. Curve formed by joining the side cutting edge and the end cutting edge is called nose radius, right? Here, you can observe here. This, this is the side cutting edge and the end cutting edge. Side cutting edge and end cutting edge. Like this, uh, we are getting this. No stages, right? Curve formed by joining the side cutting edge and end cutting edge. Nose provided with a radius called nose radius. The so nose is having uh, denoted with the nose uh, some radius, but the radius is called a nose radius. Nose provided with a uh, radius called nose radius, right? This is a curve formed by joining the radius side cutting edge and end cutting. Late tool geometry. Sharp cutting nose weakens the cutting kit. Right? Nose radius provides. Sharp cutting nose weakens the cutting kit. Right? Nose radius provides gear strength. Prolonged tool life. Nose radius provides great extent. Prolonged tool life. Tool with too large nose radius leads to charter. These are the defects that will be discussed in the next classes. Sharp cutting nose weakens the cutting tip. The cutting nose is very sharp. The cutting tip will be weakened while doing the operations. And the nose radius provides Greater strength, prolonged tool life, and tool with too large nose radius leads to chart. Too large nose radius leads to the chart. Cutting edge. Portion of the face edge along which the chips separated from the work. That is the cutting edge. And side cutting edge. Edge formed by the intersection of face and side plane. We observed in the diagram itself, the cutting edge is the portion of the face edge along which the chip is separated from the work because the face part we have observed, along the face part, the chip is flowing. The chip is flowing while doing the operation. Based on similar way, in a similar way, side cutting edge. Edge formed by the intersection of face and side edge. Right? So this is the actual cutting edge, actual cutting edge formed while doing the operation. The actual cutting edge while doing the operation, which formed by the intersection of the face and the side plane. It is the actual cutting edge. And the end cutting edge, edge formed by the intersection of face and the end plane. Edge formed by intersection of face and the end plane. Right? So these are the cutting edges. One is the cutting edge, and second one is side cutting edge, and end cutting edge. The edge formed by intersection of face and the end plan, we can call it as the end cutting edge, right? So these are the parts, uh, the geometry of the lathe tool, that is uh, face plan, uh, etc. and the cutting edges, 
shanks, right? The real tangents, those the real points, right? So these are the cutting elements, the three cutting and the parts of the tool, right? So now we are moving to discuss about the angles, principal to them, right? So, so far we have discussed about the parts, body parts and uh, edges, right? Uh, and now we are moving to the principal tool angles. Uh, in this principal tool angles, we learned uh, two or three or four angles today. And uh, the remaining will be discussed uh, in the entire classes, right? And this first one, right? Just observing the figure. What are the angles? This, this is the back brake angle, and this is the side brake angle. Here also side brake angle. End cutting edge angle. And this is the nose. End clearance angle. End relief angle. Side cutting edge angle. Right? Observe. Once again, back back angle, end clearance angle, this one total end clearance angle, and this one end relief angle, this is the side angle, and this one is the side clearance angle, this one is the end cutting edge, and this is the side cutting edge angle, right? In this, uh, different types of tool angles uh, are there on our cutting tool, like body parts and uh, <coughs> cutting edges. Right? That today we are going to discuss about the uh, rake angle and back rake angle. Right? The rake angle is where the rake angle is situated. Just observe here. Where is the rake angle? So, the break angle means back break angle and side break angle, right? Two types of angles are there, which is called break angle. The angle between the tool face and plane parallel to the face of the tool. Angle between the tool face and the plane parallel to the face of the tool is called break angle. In that, we are now discussing about the back rake angle. The angle between the face of the tool and the face of the shank. Here, we are observed our back rake angle. This, the angle between the face of the tool. So this is the face of the tool, that is the top surface. Here, top surface, face of the tool and the face of the shank. Face of the shank is measured in a plane through the side cutting edge. It is measured with the plane through side cutting edge. That angle is uh, and it is at the right angle to the base. So it is right angle to the base. So this angle is called back break angle. This angle is called back break angle. Here we are observed the back break angle is here. Angle between the tool face and a plane parallel to the face of the tool is called the break angle. The back break angle, the angle between the face of the tool and the face of the shank measured in a plane to the side cutting edge at the, and at right angles to the face. In this uh, back break angle, we get two different types of break angles so the positive break angle and the negative break angle. The tool faces downwards from the point towards the shank. That is called a positive rake angle and the negative rake angle. The cutting edge faces upwards towards the shank. Upwards towards the shank is called negative rake angle, right? Positive rake angle means tool faces downwards. Tool faces downwards from the point towards the shank. Negative rake angle. Cutting edge faces upwards towards the shank. Upwards towards the shank. So this is the back rake angle, right? The next one is the side rake angle. 
side break angle. The angle between the base of the two. So where the side break angle is situated here. We are observing side break angle. The angle between the base of the two shank and the face of the two. The angle between the base of the two and the face of the two. This is shows the facts. Side view. So we are observing in here side break angle. The angle between the base of the two shank and face of the two side break angle is formed. Measured in a plane perpendicular to the plane through the side cutting edge and the right angles to the face. Measured in a plane perpendicular to the plane through the side cutting edge and the right angles to the face. That is called side break angle. Understood? So in this also we are having a positive side break angle and negative side break angle. Uh, tool faces is Tool face is sloping upwards towards the side cutting edge. Tool face is sloping upwards towards the side cutting edge. Native break. Tool face is sloping downwards towards the side cutting edge. It's called side break angles, right? So these are the angles uh, in the cutting tool. The remaining angles we will be discussed in the later classes, right? Uh, and the tomorrow, I, uh, again, in the next class, I will again repeat these angles also. Now go into close this session. Session. Uh, what we have, we can can we, can we recall what are the things we have learned so far, right? So before going to close today's class, let us summarize what we have learned so far. Uh, that is, a single point cutting tools are used in general works on lathe, right? That, uh, that has been discussed in today's class. And lathe tools may be classified according to direction of feed, purpose, capture, and purpose in the method of manufacture. Right? Now, based on direction of feed, we can tell that the right hand tools and left hand tools. For right hand tools, the having the cutting edge at the left hand side. For left hand tools, the cutting edge is at the right hand side. Right? So these are the tools based on the direction of feed and the purpose purpose means uh, what are the operation is going to be done that is facing operation or parting of operation or cutting of operation right based on that operation we uh, in these tools are divided and the method of manufacturing manufacturing methods uh, uh, like the solid tools and uh, based on manufacturing methods we can divide it solid tools and uh, tip tools solid tools and uh, tip tools right and uh, after that we have discussed that the lathe tool geometry in that uh, we have discussed that the body parts first one is the shank that is the main body of a solid tool and this part of tool is part of tool is put in the tool holder okay? so the percentage of this body of the in the body the shank is replaced the main tool. main body of a solid tool and this part of tool is put in the tool holder next to face top surface of the tool between the shank and the point face is the top surface of the tool between the shank and the point. The point, wedge shaped portion between the face and flank of the tool. These are all observed in our lathe tool geometry. Shank is the main body of the part, and the face is the top surface of the tool, and it is between the shank and point, and the point is the wedge shaped portion between the face and the flank of the tool. And the flank, portion of the tool which faces the work, portion of the tool which faces the work. Base, surface of the tool shank which base against the supporting tool holder. This is the surface of the tool shank which base against the tool holder. And heat, bottom portion between the base and the tool. Right? And also including that the cutting edges, cutting edge, side cutting edge and indicating. Uh, these are these points also discussed in today's session. These are all under the category of lathe tool geometry. Uh, including, uh, apart from these, uh, some 
angles also we have discussed today that is side rake angle right that is rake angles the rake angle in that rake angle we are having two different types of angles side rake angle and back rake angle in side rake angle also we have a positive rake angle and negative rake angle and back rake angle also we are having positive rake angle and negative rake angle right so these are the points we have discussed in this today's session based on this we need to do some quiz questions right that is left hand tool on lathe can cut the most efficiently when mm -hmm. tool travels from left to right end of the lathe bit right so the name itself left hand tool so that's why the from right hand to left hand of the lathe bit is the answer right? we have tell that not again not thinking we can directly tell that the left hand tools are going from right to left end and left of the bed so that is the uh, left hand tools on the interval most efficiently when tool drives from left to right sorry left hand tools moving from left to right but uh, here the confusion is where the cutting edge the cutting edge is at the right hand side right left hand tools are going from left hand to the right hand but the cutting edge is not at the right hand Greater wear takes place in a single point cutting tool, right? Plant, fabric, base, kit, base. And frequently asked for questions draw the line diagram of single point tool and show the single point of tool, right? Now, by this, I am concluded today's class. Uh, tomorrow, we will be discussing about the 